Times New Roman for standard format. Now it look like nice. Uh, so click on the part and right click on part and open. Here we apply the material. So go to the material and apply material. Here we can select the random material. Here cast stainless steel. Okay, apply and close. Property uh, material and uh, here material. So automatically material will be available on evaluated value. Uh, second property is weight and here select mass so mass will be available uh, next is the stock size and uh, volume volume so we add the uh, property now automatically this property available on the bill of material table here we don't require this column so right click and uh, delete delete column so it will automatically delete it from the bill of material here we follow the same procedure uh, on a particular part and add the property as per our requirement so it will what automatically reflect on the our uh, table save the over, uh, over here we can uh, type uh, any text as per our requirement so the, in the description of frame I can type uh, rigid uh, body rigid body select all what happened Okay, select all and give a text okay, now it's uh, visible uh, for the remaining two parts we apply the same procedure again select the all three property material weight and uh, stock size so we, it will add, uh, automatically reflect on our BOM table ok and save select the last uh, part apply material insert the property ok save so now table is ready from over here I will edit the uh, assembly view so it uh, look like good and uh, adjust our assembly mm, from over here So I add the balloon and select the drawing, adjust our balloon as per our requirement but it go outside the drawing sheet. Uh, we have number of kind of balloon, circular, uh, this is a diamond shape again hexagonal shape but uh, circular is good so i will keep it same uh, five character uh, i will use a uh, two character Now change the position of our balloon. Uh, it's good. Okay, select and adjust okay, our assembly. Now our assembly is ready. 
for bill of material 